from Taj Mahal and Medics. I've got a Kia Soul here on a 2009 plate. Basically what's happening is on the right hand side, as you can see, the stop lamp is working. The middle one's working. The left one isn't working, as well as the position lamp. I'm just going to show you the position lamp as well. As you can see there, that there is working, but this isn't. Basically, it'll be a double filament bulb, which is a 3A2 bulb that would go in here. I'm just going to show you. Sorry, I was wrong, not a 3A2, it's a 3A2 bulb. And all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. So I've had to WD, I have to spray some WD-14 there because they were really tight. That one was quite rusty as you can see, so I've cleaned it up. Now they are loose because I had to loosen it up before I get on with the video because I do not want to waste time. And uh, all you need is spray some WD-40, WD-40 or maintenance spray. Use a slightly longer screwdriver, but the screwdriver that you use, you need, you need to make sure it fits in perfect. So when you put pressure on it, all you do, twist it to your left, that's it. That should open up. All you do is take the screws out. I'm just going to do that while I put you on hold. Right, okay, now they've taken the screws out. All you've got to do is wedge your hands in there in the little, little bit so it pulls out. So I'm going to get a second hand now. One second. Right, so what I do, slightly wedge my hands in and then pull the light out towards me. And if you come around on this side, just gonna show you something. If you look in there, these are the little lugs that's all kind of go into this little hole. That's why they get really tight. The bulb we're replacing is the bottom one, which is a brake light and the position lamp. This one's a reverse lamp, and that one's the direction indicator as well. So if I take this out, right, okay, all you do is take this one out and remember the seal as well. So take the bulb out. Like I said, it's a double filament, it's a 380 bulb. The bulb can be found in the description. There'll be a link for it. And these one can only go one way as well. So that's it, that's in. And then you slot it through. And if you have found this video useful, make sure it's tight. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And there's a special thanks button as well. Don't forget to click on that. What I'm gonna now do is try to put it back together. So I'm gonna line these holes up first. So once I've lined it up, all I then do is push it in. That's all it is. And I'm gonna just screw it in. You get a couple of screws in there so make sure you don't drop these as well so i'm going to put the rusty one somewhere yeah i'm going to put the rusty one in the middle because the least we know oh no i can't do that i'm going to take this back out right the rusty one has to go on the bottom because of the screw size is slightly bigger so i'm just going to put that back in there somebody may have modified it in the past i don't know to be honest with you, so I'm gonna just put the screw in, get the top one in as well. And then we're just gonna check the lights, make sure the lights are working. Like I said, do not drop the screws in. That's tight. That's tight as well. So I'm gonna just get all the lights checked. Now if you could just put the position lamp on, please. Yep, yeah, that's lovely, that's lovely. And then now press the brakes. Now as you can see that there is working, the centre one's working, this one is working as well. That's all it is on this particular model. It is a Kia Soul. So if you've got one 2009 plate, I don't know, I'm not sure how far they go, but I'll, do, I'll, I'll have the link, I'll, I'll have the description uh, for what models they are as well, what year uh, manufacturing date uh, this Kia Soul goes up to. If there's anything else you need to know, come on us below. We'll try to help you as much as we can. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.